This is amazing. Now we have NVIDIA Llama 3.1 Minitron 4 billion parameter model. And this is created from Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model using the process called pruning and distillation. Here is the paper on how to do it. This process requires up to 40 times fewer training tokens compared to the training from scratch. The compute cost savings for up to 1.8 times. It is also shows 16% improvement in performance in MMLU scores. As you can see here, the cost to train the model versus MMLU score. And Minitron 8 billion parameter model is in par with all the top 8 billion parameter model. And the cost to train is very low. When considering Llama 3.1 Minitron 4 billion parameter model, this is in par with the 8 billion parameter model. Imagine that the size is small, but still you'll get a high performance. Using this method, you can create any model from a larger model with less cost and less number of tokens required to train. I will share in detail the different steps included to create this model, such as pruning and distillation, the types of distillation and the distillation type used in this, explain the different steps involved and compare its performance. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. We can see the tweet from Meta in regards to Llama 3.1 Minitron 4 billion parameter model. Also from Nvidia sharing that it gives 16% better performance, 40 times fewer tokens, 1.8 times cost saving. So what are we doing here? So Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model. We are converting that to Llama 3.1 Minitron 4 billion parameter model. So how this is happening? Using a process called pruning and distillation. So what is pruning and distillation? So this is the architecture of a large language model that is transformers based large language model. So even when you use ChatGPT, in the front end, you'll ask a question and you'll get a response. But at the back end, this is what happens. It's same like your computer screen where you can see things, but inside that you have wires. Similarly for an AI, these are the wires inside that. There are some components in your computer or display used as backup, such as a main fan and a backup fan for your computer. Even if you remove your backup fan, still your computer works. Similarly, when you create a large language model, there are components which got added, which are less in priority. So even if you remove those components, you won't see much difference in the performance. So first step, pruning. Pruning involves identifying components which are of less importance. So I have represented this image in this way, just for you to understand. So any large language model will have multiple transformer blocks. These are also called layers. So by removing these layers, you will decrease the size of the model. The process of removing layers is called depth pruning. For example, Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter contains 32 layers. There is one more type of pruning called width pruning. So if you remove layers, that is called depth pruning. If you remove individual components within attention head, MLP or embedding, that is called width pruning. So what is attention head, MLP and embedding dimension? So when we come back to the diagram, you can see attention head embedding and the neurons or the MLP is also called feed forward. So technically you're just trying to remove individual components from this, that is width pruning. In the paper, we can see the same diagram which I showed you. They're going to use the embedding layer, the head attention, and also the feed forward. They're going to estimate the importance of each component within that layer, then rank those accordingly and remove the less important components. By doing that, you will get the trimmed version, which is less in size compared to the original large language model. Then we go to step number two, that is distillation. So step number two, distillation. So here we got the trimmed model in point number four. The trimmed model is nothing but the student model. So there are two types of distillation. One is SDG fine tuning and the next one is classical knowledge distillation. So in this type of distillation, the teacher model is the main model or the large model that creates synthetic data. Then that data is used to fine tune the trimmed model that is the student model to get the improved student model. And the second method, instead of Generating synthetic data, we are using the training data, which is used to train the teacher model and training the trimmed model. Not only that, we are also training even the logits and intermediate states. 
that is mimic internal representations and outputs the result. So these are the internal steps that is internal architectural training. So that is the key difference in distillation used in this model. So we are not using this SDG fine tuning. We are using classical knowledge distillation. So that's what we see in this paper. So here is the overall process. First, we took the overall 8 billion parameter large language model. We did important analysis such as which layer to remove and which components to remove, both width pruning and depth pruning. Then we got the trimmed or the pruned model. Then using that, then we do knowledge distillation using the teacher model. That is the original unpruned large language model and the student model. So the teacher model is going to teach the student model on the different intermediate steps. That is the internal architecture and also with the training data. Then you get the trained small model. It's smaller and efficient. Then you evaluate the performance. If the target size is reached, then final compact model. If it is not reached, then again you start from the beginning, analyzing the importance of each layers and components. And it goes again and again. I'm sure that this approach will be used in the future for creating many small models. By doing that, you're going to save cost. You're going to prepare a model much more quicker and it's going to use less tokens. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.